Welcome everyone to Let's Play King's Quest 6, air today, gone tomorrow. When last we left off, I tried to get the letters, and it, it didn't work out too well for me. They, uh, I tried reaching him for him, and I couldn't. So likely there's a stick or something I need to get them. Let's see. The blue ocean stretches on for as far as Alexander can see. You know, you, you'd think the waves would kind of push it in a little bit. Like that! <laughs> if I can't get it now, I'm going to be annoyed. Alexander picks up the object floating uh, in the water. I hate this it game. It appears to be a string of letters. They say, where are you going? I don't know where I'm Alexander going. Alexander decides to keep the odd sentence, even though it is incomplete. Okay, save. Boop. All right. Oh, let's see. We gotta get the pearl from him. Oh, the bulk. That's probably what I gotta use. If you're having trouble sleeping, perhaps you'd like me to read to you. Hey, that would be great! Two dulcimers raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese, put over the result of ten fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, stretched over the total of fifty-three and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard. <sighs> that voice just changed quickly. Yields a gilded minnow of precise measurements. Two thousand sixty-nine centidrills by three million twenty-three and six sevenths puns, not punts, as might be expected. This is not to say, however, in any sense whatsoever, that deviations in mean temperature of five or six dregs or so. Get the barrel. Drat, just missed it. Indicate a fabrication or derivation sufficiently broad enough to exacerbate the conclusions uncovered in due course with regards to the dimensions, consistency, mass, or thickness inherent. Oh my in God! The this is boring. Grouse. Yawn, yawn. Go, go, go. Alexander makes a grab for the pearl. Ninja. Oyster drifts into peaceful slumber with the rest of his oyster friends. Now I can kick it. Alright, let's save after that. And let's continue exploring the island. Doo doo. Alexander hears someone coming. Hello. I am Fierce Scars of the Isle of Wheatley. Watch for a fart man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes, its nature cannot be disguised. If it man it be, then man it dies. What? Man it dies? What? No, no, wait, wait. Old Tom Troll, smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. I, what? What? Um. Alexander is standing on a rocky beach. To the north is dense tropical vegetation. Near the shore are a dozen or so oyster beds. Uh. Do I have to do something? Eh? Alexander holds the item out for the gnome with the stupendous nose. My nose cannot be tricked that way. The smell of man still rules the day. Oh. The man, the man, so scared nose, into the ways he goes. Wait, what? But I, I was just walking. <sighs> this is gonna kill me, isn't it? Uh, the gnomes toss 
toss Alexander too far out into the sea for him to get his footing. The currents drag him under. Sounds like a toilet flush. I have a feeling I'm going to be seeing this screen a lot. Tickets. Next. Guess those gnomes couldn't reach a consensus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh God, that's funny. All right. Can I go this way? Is this going to kill me too? Alexander, here's oh, someone I'd coming. Damn. Alright, so I can't explore this island at all. I fear scars of the Isle we be. Watch for a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If it man it be, then man it dies. Ah. Uh, wait, can I use the map? And then go to hell. I think that would be swell. Magic map out of here. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I'll go here. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> See you, suckers. Ha <laughs> ha. Let me make sure that I didn't end up screwing myself over there. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Are they going to be still there and then just kill me the second I come back? Let's see. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Woohoo! Yes, they're gone! There's no reason to touch that. I wasn't trying. There we go. Alright, mouse battery's working. Da da da! Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alright, let's go back to this Isle of the Beast. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Wow! All right, let's explore this place. Ah, uh, ah, uh, let's save. That's probably gonna kill me, isn't it? Is that magic or boiling? Uh, probably boiling. It sounds boiling. A pond lies across the path. The water boils as if over some magical flame. Ugh. Alright. So that that's gonna kill me. So I guess the only other place to go... Alexander is standing at the edge of the sea on a heavily forested island. As far as the eyes can see, tall trees spread out their branches as though straining to link arms, their tops forming a canopy above. A path leads north through the forest. Yeah, let's use the map. Alexander pulls out his magic map. And, uh, go to the last place and cut the video off. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> Alright, folks, I'm going to cut the video off here. As always, thank you very much for watching. And I uh, hope you tune in the next ones. Thanks for watching, guys.